All right, guys, we are gonna open this up. I'm gonna pull the battery out. Uh, that is the XP 3.0, and this is XP 4. Um, I've done a battery balancer from Electric All Wheel. Matt sent me all this stuff to do an extended range battery, so there's no more range anxiety or anything else. We can um, basically charge both those batteries independently, and then when we go out and ride, the battery balancer uh, allows it to bring both batteries on at the same time. That bike will go for a very, very, very long way. So what we're gonna do is um, open this up and see what the controller is. I'm gonna get a bunch of the information for Matt and uh, get that over to him. So, all right guys, let's uh, get this up so we can work on it. Remco lifts worth every penny, especially when it comes to a 68 pound bicycle. The XP 4.0. All right, I'm gonna grab the key because we are going to need it. So the key is actually on the other side. I'm gonna move this bike back a little bit. So the key is on this side. So we are going to pop that in right now. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pop the, man, that latch is so much better than the old one. Anyway, all right, we're gonna pop this open. Swing this around. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this key. So here is the new battery. Okay, open it and we're gonna slide this battery out. So the battery is also chamfered just like the frame is. Um, so here is our setup. We got the three pin charger, the on off switch, and then our battery, or I mean our uh, lock assembly. So we do have a positive, negative, and then you've got your three pins in the center. So we're gonna take this over here. Okay. We're gonna take, we're gonna take the screws out and see what we got from underneath so I can get some pictures of the new controller for Matt. Okay, that's not gonna stay. I'm gonna drop it and lose those screws, but anyway. Okay, so here is our charge connector. All right, guys, as you can see, We've got our motor, our controller. So we got lots of slack. Yep, that's what they did. They just tucked the extra slack up from the bottom. And this is the, the flat one. Is going to be, let's see what color that is. All right, black on black. So, the flat one is the one that goes. So this one is our torque sensor. Let's see what color. And then green is I believe our brake sensor.
So green to green, black to black, and then that goes, that's gotta be our, I'm gonna have to get the controller out of there. Ain't nothing to it besides just doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this so I don't break it. Nothing like disassembling a brand new bicycle. All right, why not, right guys? That's crazy that they made the lead that long and it doesn't plug in, but I don't remember the other ones being like that. So let's see what we can figure out. Okay. All right, party people. Okay, you probably can't see down in there, but so now that we got the motor, all right, let's go ahead and pull this out. All right, guys. Make sure you can see that. So this is the motor lead goes up to the controller. Um, I believe that's probably display. Matt will be able to tell me all this stuff. Um, and then this is the torque sensor and then power. So let's get you some pictures and so yeah, that's what they did. They just made it so you can, um, just slide this down in there. There's more than enough room for a balancer and stuff in here. So should be able to just drop this in, plug all your stuff in. You will have to take the motor lead loose. Um, we'll have to take the motor lead loose and in order to do that, but it's literally three zip ties. So, and then that slides right out. So there's a better shot. All right, oh, we're gonna leave this up and we're gonna slide that down through there and the trick is going to be just straightening these out and then let's see it went this way because the okay this is going to take some patience guys okay that should be all of them. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, run it back, and I'm just gonna loop it over this. And then we're gonna take our other big motor wires. We're gonna find the... All right, so that has two notches on it. When you, you kind of first hear it click, and then you hear a second click. So just be aware that that needs to be plugged all the way in because it's got two like weather notches on it to maybe keep it weather tight or something. And then we're gonna go black, which is our cadence sensor. And we're gonna go to Let's see, I don't think it matters. It do not run it through there. So we're gonna take black to black and we've got our arrow on top and our arrow here. Snaps together, really nice. And then our green which I believe is a brake sensor. Green, again, do not <laughs> loop it around there. Okay, so we're gonna take our green 
and we're going to find the, okay, there's an arrow, an arrow, and we're going to snap that together. Okay. And then all they did was tuck this stuff up inside there and then zip tied it. So that's kind of what we're going to do here in just a minute. I want to um, get our motor reattached. I'll take our zip ties. Grab all of our stuff. We're gonna I want to slide that in that notch right there like that. Oh, nope. I do not want to do that. Okay. OCD about wiring guys so just bear with me you don't have to be like this <laughs> but I don't like when the wires are all ran around and not the same Okay, then so that's plugged in. So I take this and we're just going to run it back up inside. Okay, and then tuck that back up in there, and then we're going to take that major wire, put it up in there. So now that we got those all zipped together, I'm going to throw one more zip tie around here and that'll keep all of this stuff from moving just like it was so all right very nicely done so we got that now the really impressive thing guys will be if i stick this back together and it works <laughs> It's not that bad. This is as easy as the other one. The only difference is, is your lead back here for your motor um, is the only thing that's going to be different. So um, anyway, we're going to take this and kind of set it up in there. Make sure our wires aren't smooshed. So there's a lot of room. There's a lot of room there to run a balancer and all sorts of stuff. So yeah, we're in really good shape there, guys. Just putting these in here loosely until I get all of them in and then we'll tighten them down. You couldn't do that if you tried. I'm just telling you. There we go. Just 
Just be careful when you put these in, guys. What do you think it'll run or not? Once I get the... All right, those are tight. It came out. Push it in a little bit. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Got to turn the battery on before you have a heart attack. All right. Oh, well, we got screen on. Let's bump her up. And I keep forgetting. Let's see. All right. Great success. <laughs>